Hey guys, welcome to IT Army. Now, my guess is that if you are watching this video, you are probably installing Windows operating system and you got stuck at a phase where it says that select the partition where you want to install Windows 10. And when you were selecting that partition, it was giving an error that Windows cannot be installed to the selected disk. The selected disk partition style is MBR and for EFI systems, it must be GPT. So, uh, I will show the solution, the easiest and quickest solution to this problem. Let's get started. Okay, so probably you are stuck at this situation where you are seeing a drive and you are selecting the partition and it gives you a warning that Windows cannot be installed on drive 0 partition 1 and when you click on that it says that Windows cannot be installed, the selected disk has MBR partition scheme and on EFI systems Windows can only be installed to GPT disk. So. Uh, what type of disk it is MBR or GPT, this is the property of a disk and this property can only be changed once you have deleted all the partitions. So uh, what you need to do is you need to delete all these partitions and then it will automatically convert to MBR or GPT whatever is required for the installation. So probably you had a non-UEFI installation and now you are trying to do the UEFI installation. So that's why you are getting the error. So the easiest solution is you just simply need to delete this. And before that I want to warn you that if you have any content on these partitions just back them up and then delete them. So uh, I'm going to delete these two partitions. Delete. And once it is done then I'll be selecting the second partition and this also I will delete it. Now all the partitions I have deleted now it's a single unallocated space. Now when I go ahead and click on new I will allocate all the space to one hard drive. I'll click on apply and now this EFI installation it makes some three additional partitions so I am fine with that. Click on OK. Now it will create the partition. So now you can see that it has created additional three partitions and this is gonna be your C drive once your Windows installation is done. Now you can click on next and your Windows installation has started. So I hope this solution was easy and quick for you and if you like this hit the like button and if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.